Hello, hello, and welcome everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, hello, Bida and Chakabo. Glad to see you. How are you doing? Uh, it's been a while since I catch uh, one of your streams. Hope it's going well. Yeah, yeah, everything is good. Hope it's good for you as well. Um, so yeah, we are going to continue working on the monster skills today. Uh, hopefully we can finish Prantera Monster skills today, but I'm not so sure. Well, we'll see. Then great to see you were working on AI Pathfinder and still on the monster skills grind. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, basically, since the previous patch, I was working on some, um, structurally related fixes, client side fixes. A huge chunk was making the AI pathfinding working correctly. Hello, Anya san Hi. Um, and yeah, also a lot of movement synchronization issues. So yeah, hopefully now it's going to become much better when it turns to like monster movement when it comes to monster movement. Um, and yeah, still trying to finish monster skills, at least like the base set of monster skills. So then I can start actually working on uh, some balancing and player character skills. So yeah, that's, that's the plan. Oops, wrong, wrong key. Oh my god. Here we go. <clears throat> right, so uh last time we created some skills for hydras, but they were not working correctly. Must look like senior player equipment come into play. Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit later after like the main balance and stuff. But yeah, maybe actually in parallel to like glass balancing, I will start working on the quests again, on like early level progression. I have a bunch of plans regarding that. And yeah, maybe also some equipment. But yeah, at the moment it's not high priority. So, Hydra, for Hydra we had the main problem is these three skills are actually configured as a single skill but three different levels. This shouldn't be the case. So we need to separate this. Um, so I guess this is the last one. 14, this is going to be Hydra Magic Attack. Um, all right, skills. Uh, okay, NPC skills. I'm going to replace these ones with just a ranged attack. Then we will reconfigure that. So this is 14, this is 15. Still fails. Collection status effect, oh no. Yeah, changing skill ideas is a little bit annoying. Actually, let's just copy this skill. What was the idea again? 14. Oh wait, the first one did rename correctly.
So I've got this one. This is the the magic attack. It's this one, I think. Yeah. We need to fix the last one. So let's just copy it. Level fifteen. So, okay, first of all, let's assign it here. And we also need to set it in the kill action status effects. Mm. Crap, we also have the status effect. Now we can delete this one and we can delete this scale. Great. <clears throat> okay. So we have these new skills. I think there was something, something else wrong with these skills, but I don't remember right now. So let's just log into the game with these ones and see how it looks like. Okay, so this was game data tables. Okay, kit. Okay, yeah, my priority right now is to manage the monster skills um, and also test how the um, the pathfinding works along the way. Then we can release this new update and start working on the balancing. Oh yeah, we also need to fix the stats. Okay, at least it looks fine. That's Hydra to attack a hit stun. Uh, no. But it also has one scale that roots in place, although for some reason it doesn't want to use it right now. I'm waiting for that scale, but I don't see it. Hmm. 
Hmm. That is strange. Oh, I think this is the one. Yeah, now it roots. Roots the fire in place. I think it's too long. Is it 20 seconds? 20 seconds is way too long. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's 20 seconds. Um, what is the chance to percent? Hmm. Let's do, I don't know, 15 seconds, probably even less, but let's try 15 seconds for now. Also, maybe we can change the effect a little bit. Hmm. Oh, how did they die? Suffocated. Yeah, let's try 15 seconds. I think everything else looks fine. Oh yeah, uh, we need to um, adjust the stats a little bit. Okay, so let's do...
Okay, so we have the 15 seconds. Yeah, I think this is this is fine. Gonna leave it at 15 seconds. Okay, this looks fine. Okay, so Hydra is done. Uh, now what? Now let's try to work on the spiders. So which one are we gonna choose? Let's do that one. So for these ones, we had some some visual effect, um, like spider web or something. I've seen something like that. So let's try to find that. Spider silk. Hmm. Spider silk. Okay, sixty five zero seven sixty seven. Let's do a full search. Okay, so in the original game it was just reduction of the walking speed. I have an icon though, that's good. Let's take a look. Ten sixty eight. Uh, where is it? Ten 
Ah, it's been used already. One sec. Is this one okay? Well, we can also use that for for hydro hands, I guess. So, uh, status effects, hydro hands. So let's assign this icon. And yeah, I guess we can use the same one uh, for this new scale for the spider. Okay, so let's create a new scale. Let's call it spider web. This can be cast time one second, maybe even without cast time. Yeah, let's do this one without any cast time. But with a bigger global cooldown. So now casting, guess I can just copy the effects. Okay, Tunnel has the effect damage, the damage effect I mean. Skills. Okay. Didn't have an effect, but we will do that. So let's see. Um, status effects. No, let, let's do skills. Okay, root type. Okay, we will use the same effect that we have for the hydro hands. Uh, and what do we have? Disable movement, evasion. Yes. Okay. Now we have to create collection status effect for it I 
for how long? 10 seconds or less. Let's do 15 seconds as well. Actually, this one could be 20 seconds. It's not underwater, so it's more or less fine. Later we will be able to, to fine-tune it a little bit more. Okay, now we need to assign the scale. Crapware, NPC prototypes. So we can just copy this, put the master radius and the next scale right here. So 2%, let's do 3% for this one. Okay. What else? What could these spiders do? Hmm. Throw stones, maybe? Apply shield, maybe? Let's see, do we have uh, the monster version of the throw stone skill? Can I just do the search? No. What about the character version? Well, we can just copy this and create a NPC version of the skill. They need to get the ID first. Okay, throw stone, this is going to be an NPC skill. We will not have the min range on the skill level, we will have it on the 
NPC skill assignment level. Mm -hmm. So cooldown, let's do No, it's fine. Global cooldown to seconds animation duration. Let's do ten hundred ranged attack, sure. Oh, this should be a null. Gonna leave the same effects. That should be fine. Now, this skill should have a chance to stun. Should be pretty similar to what we have for uh, the player version of the skill. So let's do let's do some variations. Let's create 10 levels. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And let's do 10% chance to, to apply stun. How long? Four seconds? Five seconds? Let's try five seconds. And then we will fine tune that later. So 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60. One hundred, okay. And we need the status effects. This should be stun. Primary, target, permanent, duration, five seconds, I think. Yes, five seconds. And this is 10%. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can just copy that. And we need to change the probability. Okay, now which one do we assign to the spider? Let's do 60% chance. Yeah, let's do 60% chance. We'll have two spiders. Uh, 
let's also do 3% chance for the scale. Uh, we need to set the minimal target range. Okay. What else did they want to add? Some kind of shield, maybe. Hmm. What kind of shells do I have al already? Magic ranged and melee shells. Let's actually add both, depending on the type of skill used. Uh, melee and ranged, we will skip the magic one. So, uh, thirty or fourth death is the third. NPC skills again for these two. Set this skill. Out of curiosity, why are there so few spiders on this map now? Um, well, because I wanted to uh, make them like leave their nest near uh, near some kind of trees and have some secluded area for each of those. So basically, they're not just running around randomly, they're actually hiding. And they don't want to be disturbed. So yeah, something like that. So let's set 10% chance. No, this should be a null. Uh, status effect, recent. It attack types, this should be, no, this should be one, this is a melee shield. Yeah. And we need to add another one, this should be the range shield, level three again. For the attack type two. Okay, let's see. Oh, actually, I need to exit the game completely. Guess we've just added a couple of new skills. But also, those spiders are now not only limited to this specific map. You will see them on other maps as well, sometimes. Just yeah, they are hiding now. Uh, no, wait, uh, not this one. Actually, uh, yeah, let's let's use some magic on them first. Okay. Why is it? Why did it stop? 
Oh no. I need to add some kind of um some kind of cooldown because I was basically rooted in place for ages. Also, they are very slow. Not sure if I like that. Yeah, root for 20 seconds, that's not good. Let's do 15 seconds. And let's add some casting time. Increase the speed for them or not. They are very slow, but they can root you in place. <laughs> Man, it's gone. Uh, so, first of all, we definitely need to change the duration of the root effect to 15 seconds. Okay. Now, I wanted to add some kind of casting time. Let's do 1500 milliseconds. Cooldown is 30 seconds, okay, okay. Uh, hello doll. How are you doing? Oh yeah, uh... Going to be like this. Now throw stone. I think I want... I wanted to use the throw stone skill a little bit more frequently. Binder web throw stone. Let's do five percent. Do I need to restart the client? Yes, I do. <clears throat> yeah, my internet network not working fine, so slow. Well, sad to hear that. Hopefully it's gonna get better soon. I also need the cast an effect. Let's use this one. But let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Hmm. 
So for spider, we now have spider web, throw stone, and um, melee shield, and oops, range, ranged shield. I think I want to increase the range damage for them a little bit. Oh. Let's do four seconds done. Also, what was that? Why was it stopped on the client side? First of all, let's reduce the stun duration. Four seconds. Five is a little bit too much. Okay. Now, do we? Oh, uh, I need to also increase. Wait, where is it? I need to increase the ranged attack a little bit. And maybe speed. Let's try. Let's try. 200, just a little bit. Right now the speed is 150 during combat. Let's do 200. And rest.
the animation looks a little bit weird. I think I need to set the base speed to what it was, 125. Guess it's now sliding. Okay, that looks better. Why does it freeze after after the stun? That's weird. Some kind of movement desynchronization. Not sure what's that. Okay, this looks okay. This looks fine. Uh, so, spiders are done. At least for now. Now. Uh, I'm pretty sure I... Uh, I've created uh, some kind of hiding skill for the monsters before, but I don't remember what it was. So let's see. Or was it just a normal hiding skill? I need to find that out. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I did something like that.
Well, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. So, <clears throat> so let's try. Um, let's actually take a look. Maybe we can reduce character skill. Oh, the hiding is actually is 10, so we can't use that. Maybe we can use clocking. Hmm. Maybe we can use clock and Okay, so that actually works. I think I'm gonna create a new monster skill actually. Because I, I want to have a little bit more control over the skill for the for the characters, player characters. I want to add some kind of effects for the NPC effect of the skill. Okay, um, let's see, we need to find the next AD. This one. Cast time. Let's do one second. Cast time for monsters. Cool down. Cool down. Actually, wait. What would be the duration of the skill, of the effect? Well, for now, let's use 60 seconds. Global cooldown is going to be 500 milliseconds. Without any icons. Yeah. Let's go to the master skills. Okay, we need to add the casting effect. Okay. 
Okay, that should be good enough. So we need to decide how it's gonna work. What what was that animation? <laughs> My avatar just jumped all of a sudden. But okay, um so for how long do we gonna keep the master hidden? Can actually make it dependent on the skill level. Yeah, let's do that. So let's add to three, four, five levels. And let's do five seconds. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five. Okay. So I wanted to try and add this skill uh, to the thief box. Actually, let's just warp to print terror. And this one, for example. This is level 18. Okay, so this one. Let's try for five seconds first. Probability. Let's do 100% just to test things. And I'll, let's also enable it for the idle mode. Let's see how that looks. Oh wait, we have the cooldown of 60 seconds. Well, I guess I'm just gonna wait.
Oh, here we go. Didn't work. Ah, crap. Yes, I forgot to actually create the status effect. Uh, Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Let's do thirty-second cooldown. Yeah, we need the status effects. Copy this one. Put with a separate icon. Active clocking, okay. Clocking level. Yeah, we also need to create a, I think, a bunch of level variations for clocking level one, level two. So have clocking function. Disable health recovery, mana recovery, running speed. Don't need all of that. skill handler, target skill handler. We need those two, but we don't need the run and speed modifier. We don't need mana and health recovery. So let's move these two here and Z these two to here. Walk in a level. First skill handler, target skill handler. Okay. I think we are good. Now here, we need to create a few levels. Two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. And that would be our clock and clock and level. Three, four, and five. Do you have a big delay? Now this is going to be level 11, 12, 13, 14, 
And this is going to apply level to Aura. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, and twenty five. Going to be level three. This is level four. And this is level five. Okay, but now we also need to create the status effect, action status effect. So uh, let's do, let's create a new one. This is the first level. And this is the first level. So primary, on self, permanent, five sec, yeah, five seconds, one hundred percent, clocking, two, three, four, five. Five, ten, no, wait, duration. Yeah, this is milliseconds, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty five. And we need to duplicate that for the next batch of skills. But this is going to be level two clocking. This is level three. Level four. And finally level five, like that. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the skills again. Okay, so this is 100%, at least for now. Let's exit. Expert pack. Start the client, restart the server. Okay, it's gone. And it's back. Okay, so let's test. What was the command? Uh, what was the command? Detect. Let's see now.
I need to remove the attack animation. Also, there is something weird going on with um, with the texture. But okay, uh, I need to remove the attack animation for these scales. Attack animation, this one. Okay, now let's see how it looks like when it is it in combat. Come on, use the skill. Here we go. Ah, yeah, it cancels it. Also, I need to bring back the detect level to zero. Hey, come back. You know what? I think I'm just going to increase the animation duration. Yeah, this one. No, not animation duration. Global cooldown to something like three seconds. That way it will not attack for three seconds after it entered um, the clock. Actually, this global cooldown It's probably not gonna affect the uh, normal attack. But let's let's test. Here's the skill. Hmm. That was a little bit weird. Yeah, it doesn't stop. Okay. That means that I need to set the animation duration as well. Let's do... Three seconds as well. Okay, 
Also, I need to restart the client so it doesn't um, doesn't use the attack animation. Got to set the detect level, but back to zero. Come on, use this kill. Hmm. This is weird. Still tries to use skills after it entered the hidden um hidden state. Weird. Where, where is this thing? Well, I could just reset aggro as soon as it entered um, the hidden state. I don't think it would solve anything. It works normally in the idle mode, but yeah, in In the clock and mode, in the combat mode, as soon as it enters the uh, the clock and tries to attack me again, and so uh, it disrupts the clock and. Hmm. How can I stop it from attacking for a few seconds after it entered uh, the clock in mode? Hmm. 
Another way of doing this is we can allow it attacking only uh, the targets that can see the monster. No, that's not good. Hmm. Okay, we need to decide what, what the, the combat should be like. So, let's say we are hitting this bug um, and it starts using this clock and skill in the middle of the combat. What should happen? So, we have a few options. First of all, it can enter the clock in mode and stay there for a few seconds. So, you cannot hit it. And it doesn't hit back for the whole duration of um, the clock. But if you have detection, then basically it enters clocking and it just stops attacking you, which is not good. Hmm. I don't know. If we prevent it from attacking only when uh, you, it cannot see the target. No, no, no. Only when the target cannot see the source. That's, that's, that's a little bit more weird. Hmm. I don't know. But okay, for some reason animation duration is not working. That that's another thing. And I think I know why. So if we go to... Uh, where do we go? Default combat system strategy. Check skill requirements. Source target, source restrictions. I think it should be here. And sec. Character availability. Range. No, this is target type. Disposition, cast time. Cooldown. Maybe cooldown. Yeah, I see. So we check the global cooldown here. Mm. That's actually wrong. We should check it not within this check, not within the skill cooldown check. The global cooldown should be checked 
outside of this. So let's move all of this down. Move the cooldowns outside. So let's see, global cooldown check, if not of global cooldown, uh, skill type is active or normal on, or transferred active. Check the global cooldown zero, global cooldown tick, cooldown remaining, okay, I see. But we also need to check the animation duration. Don't think we do this check. Use scale. Yeah, movement prevention finish tick. Ah, I see. Yeah, animation duration only prevents movement. Only prevents movement, huh. Should it also prevent any attacks and skill uses, like any normal attacks. I think so. Yes, it should. So we probably need to create another property here. Um, what would that be? Disable actions. Yeah, let's do that. So we have the movement prevention, but we also need um, action prevention finish tick. Let's see where this one is being used. Extrapolate position, sure. Move to position. Rotate. Yeah, this is where we reset this, so we need to actually uh, do the same thing. But for the action prevention finish tick. Okay.
And then here we need to again copy all of this. No, just this. Action prevention finish tick. Okay. And then, and then we also need to do this check. Right here. Yeah, we need another line here. So battle, battle info, action prevention, finish, tick as value. So we need to put all of this in, in the parentheses as value and, and, um, environment tick count no this thing minus environment tick count greater than zero. Should be like that. Let's see if that helps. Come on, use this skill. Oh, come on. That's not using the skill. Interesting. Did they break something? Oh, here we go. Okay, so that works.
Okay, I think this works, but that was a little bit weird. I didn't want to use the skill for a really long time. But maybe it was just on the cooldown. It has 30 second cooldown. I think it's just the cooldown. Oh, no, no. I have the big one. Uh, okay. Okay, I think this works now. Action prevention. Ah, I need to wait. Movement prevention. This is actually maybe incorrect, but I'm not gonna check that for now. Uh, change that for now. I think this is the proper way because we also need to account for uh, the integer overflow so probably this is not correct Should be like that. So movement prevention finish tick minus environment tick count. That would be our difference. Yes. And this is not correct then. So, oops. This minus this. Wait, so if it has value, if it doesn't have value or This should be less or equals. And this is greater or equals, yes. The same thing here. No, actually, not equals. Yeah, should be like that.
be like that. Okay, uh, let's restart real quick and double check that everything is working correctly. Also, just for now, going to reduce the cooldown to, uh, I don't know, 10 seconds. Why doesn't it use the skill? Hmm. Maybe it's out of mana. No, it's not. Oh wait, it's level 19, this is why we don't have those skills on, on the level 19. We should only check these ones. Come on, it's not using the skill. Why is that? What the hell? This is level 18. Literally used the skill before I started attacking it. Hmm. That's a little bit weird. Yeah, like it's it's using the skill. It uses the skill all the time. And it's out of combat. But then Income, but it doesn't want to use it. Ah, probably this is because of uh, high attack speed. I remember, 
Um, it had a weird calculation. Hmm. This is really weird. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, the default scale has has priority. We need to change that. So first we need to add all the learned skills and only then the default skill. Yep. So yeah, that that's the the problem. Let's see if that helps. Yes, now it's working. Yes, okay. So yeah, that was a problem. It was basically trying to use auto attacks uh, before trying to use any of the learned skills. So we changed that, now it should use the normal attacks uh, only after checking all the learned skills first. Okay, so yeah, looks like it's working now. Have three second delay after it entered clock. And Okay, that works. And also we need to set the detection level for these guys. But first, first, uh, we need to change the cooldown back to 30 seconds. So, clocking level 1 for 5, 10, 15 and 20 in 25 seconds okay that's good let me double check the skill one second cast time three seconds delay yeah that looks good that looks good Status effects, clock and level, one, two, three, four, five, and also skill handlers to interrupt the aura. Okay. And we have the effect type. Okay, good. So. Is 
set all of that. Now we need to assign the scales properly to the NPCs. Second. So we need uh, div bugs. Detection level. Okay. Now we need to assign the clock in. So for now it's only this this one. So we need we need what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Actually, I needed to copy the prototype IDs. So, what would be the chance of using this skill? And maybe we can also define. Uh, some conditions. Let's do two percent income but end idle health factor Yeah, this this is gonna be fine. So two percent. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's save that. Now we need different levels. So this one is level one for five per for five seconds. Let's do the covert one. Level one for ten seconds. Okay. So that's done. What do we have? Oh yeah, the mice. So, well, while we're here in the sewers, let's take a look at the sewer rats. Let's save right here. So, red. What kind of skills can we assign for the reds? Definitely something that poisons, I guess. So, like, may maybe just a normal venomous attack. Venomous attack, 20% chance to apply poison. Let's do 
So, uh, sewer rats. And these two guys, okay. So let's do three percent chance of the scale itself, and then on the scale we have forty percent chance to apply the poison. Actually, let's do sixty percent. Three percent on the scale, only in the combat mode. Mm. We need the maximum range, 300. It's going to be a close range skill. Actually, let's do 250. Okay, what else? Maybe it also can hide, I don't know. Yeah, let's make it hide. No, actually, I don't know. I want the mice to be able to hide, but for the rat, I'm not so sure. Yeah, let's, let's let it hide. For 10 seconds, yeah, this one. Okay. What else? Let me take a look how it fights. No, it just bites. Hmm. Yeah, I think that should be enough. Venomous attack and clock in. That's good enough. Okay. But we also have great gray field mouse and town mouse. Let's take a look at those. Wait, where is the mouse? I already forgot where they are. Here they are, okay. So these guys, hmm. Well, they also should be able to hide. Uh, 
This one's fighting with his tail. So maybe we can add some kind of plant skill the damages are more I don't know let's see um so first of all we need to find them so mouse town mouse just a single one Level 14, yeah, I guess, okay. So for this one... Let's do clock and for 25 seconds, but only in idle. Three percent chance. No, let's do five percent chance. And this uh for combat we will have a reduced duration. Five seconds. And three percent. Okay. Now, what else? What kind of skill can we assign for them? How fast are they? They're pretty fast. Okay. Or more breaker, maybe. Combo attack. Let's add the combo attack, just plus one additional. No, let's, for these ones, let's do plus two, but lower chance. So this scale, 2% chance. Combo attack. Um, health factor. Get how these work. Min max health factor. Max health should be point four. No, point five. So below fifty percent health, it will try to to the combo attacks.
Yeah, I think that should be good enough. So let's try that. And most of them are gone. Guess now in idle mode they they hide. Okay. Hmm. Here is the one. Let's see how often do they use these scales. Okay, looks interesting, but I think I want to increase the duration a little bit. So right now, they they hide for 25 seconds, right? Yeah, 25 seconds. Can we add at least 30 seconds? I, I mean, set it to 30 seconds. That would be level 6. Yeah, let's do that. Let's add level 6 for each of the variations. Actually, no, wait. It means that the cooldown would have to increase. Okay, I don't want to do that. Okay, let's try attacking it. Oh, that was a combo. Why do we have two different entries in the log? Tonmos uses combo attack on you for 87... Ah, critical. I see. So it was one critical, one normal, and then another one critical. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. That's fine. And we have one more mouse. Actually, it's right here, outside of Prantera. This one. But I'm gonna go to the place where we have a bunch of those. Let me get... Let me... Oh, okay. So let's save here.
So these ones. Hmm. These ones have a rake. How fast are they? Not very. Also, I need to increase the range for them. Uh, so which kind of mouse is that? Crayfield mouse. Field skill, yeah, they have close range skill. Do I do 350 or 250? Let's do 250. So I want the hiding for them as well, the cloaking skill. So let's copy these two. And again, let's do two sets of uh, skills, one for combat, one for, um, one for idle. Wait. Let me cancel that. So let's start with idle. Greyfield mouse, five percent. For twenty five seconds, okay. Yeah, let's try that. And we need one for the combat. That's sewer red. This is for the combat. Yes. Just five seconds. Actually, for this one, so let's do 10 seconds. 3% chance. Okay. What else? What kind of skills can we assign this mouse? Hmm. Appeal sympathy, maybe? Same that the cats have? Hmm. Let's see, what do we have? Maybe appeal sympathy. The sleep reflect magic. Yeah, let's do appeal sympathy. Mm. So this mouse is like a gatherer, it's not really a fighter, right? 
So it can hide, it can appeal sympathy, that's fitting. Um, well, let's, let's add that skill as well. So first of all, clock and then uh, appeal sympathy. Where is it? Here. Let's do one percent. One percent and combat. What else? Maybe some kind of dash, I don't know. Or maybe it's gonna run away. Like at the covardness factor. Pretty slow. Like it's slower than me running backwards. Let's add cowardness factor to it. Um, It actually has one, but it will be a pretty low one. 15%. Yeah, right now it's in, in coward mode. 15%, huh? And again, it's pretty slow. Maybe we can increase its speed just a little bit. And let's set the coordinates, coordinates factor to 20%. Now, let's leave it at 15. Let's try to increase its speed just a little bit. It was 180. Let's see if I exit here. Repelled, start.
Uh, all right, they're hiding now. <laughs> okay, let's wait a little bit. Oh, I can see one. Okay, that's better. It's a little bit faster now. I wanted to cast the pill sympathy. Okay, good. And it's gone. Okay, I think it's good enough. And um, yeah, now it's running away, but yeah, it's not fast enough, so it can let it run away from you. Okay, I think it's good. Okay, we have a few more monsters. We have bandits. Crap, we have bandits. I'm not really sure what to do with those yet. Probably something like bash and increase dodge. Something like that. Have Paranites, Garabias, and we have the Doris monsters. Oh, let's see, we have Scarabius here nearby. So let's check those. So these ones, what kind of skills can we assign to these monsters? Also, they're gonna throw the ball each time they use the attack animation. So that's gonna be weird. Also, we need to increase the uh, the attack range for them just a little bit. So let's find those. And set the attack range to 250. So, what are these guys gonna do? I have no idea. Their card is for balance. Ranged balance. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know.
why do we have a man already created scales clock and now throw stone now throw dust combo attack maybe combo attack but it's not really fitting for them do you sleep reflect magic teleport freeze explode call for help manage rain reap breakers shields venomous attack uh i don't know maybe I mean, they do hit you with a down ball, so maybe, maybe sometimes they can poison you with that. I don't know. Maybe. What else? Silence, toxic smoke. No. Self revive, suffocate, exist. Heal, deep cut, dash. Blinding, maybe? So, what options do we have? Blinding? Um... Venomous attack. And that's it. Oh, let's do that. Blind and venomous attack occasionally. So, uh, for these two guys, Let's do a very low one, twenty percent chance. So where then PC these these ones? Kill level one venomous attack. Chance of usage two percent, let's do. That should be good enough. Now, blind. Let's do level one blind. 40% chance. Something like that.
So let's try. Probably I, I needed to limit the range a little bit. Oh wow, they are slow. Yeah, I need to limit the range. Yeah, it tries to use the skills, but no effect. Okay, I think it's fine. They are gonna be a little bit derpy. They will try to use the skills, but yeah. Uh, so first of all, I need to limit the range. For these two skills, Venomous Attack and Blinding, uh, max range is going to be 250. Yep. And we should be good. Now, we also have Paranites. Uh, Let's go check them out. Yeah, there is one of them, but I want to find a better spot. Oh, here. So these guys... What can we do for them? So they are biting or something. They are relatively fast. Yeah, you can't run away from them. I think I should limit them to be in water only. Yes. I need to change their movement type. They shouldn't go to, to the ground. So let's do that first of all. Movement type. So what would be suitable for them? Um, well, Five is exactly what we needed, but wait. It's 
So we need we need only the dive. So three. So they cannot walk on the ground, they can dive, they cannot swim. Actually, maybe they can swim. Maybe they can swim. Hmm. No. I think I should set the movement type to three. That would mean that they can only crawl on the water, underwater, uh, on the ground. Let's try that. Wait, I need to save here. Yeah, I have no idea what kind of skills we can assign for them. We technically can add some kind of ranged attack like a squirt like we have on other uh, crabs. Or not crabs, but shell crabs. Technically, it is some kind of shell crab, maybe. So maybe we can do that, but doesn't need it. It's pretty fast. So maybe we can reduce its speed. Yeah, it cannot go out of the water now, that's good. It's gonna return in a moment. Yeah. So yeah, maybe we can change their speed, reduce the speed a little bit. And add some kind of ranged attacks for them. And maybe suffocate when you uh, get close to them. Yeah, let's do that. So, uh, their speed... Where is the speed? 400. Yeah, that's a lot. Let's do... Let's try 200. Also, I need to do that in the stats. So, 200. Let's add the squirt, the squirt skill. I can remember where that one is. Oh, suffocate. But yeah, let's start with this one, squirt. So this one is magic attack, right? Yes, this is the magic attack. Water. Yes, good. So let's do the squirt. Oops, what am I doing? Cancel. Oh yeah, we have three of them. So chance would be 3%. Actually, no, 5% if you are 
far away from them. So min target range, let's do uh, 500. They can squirt. And let's add the suffocate. Where was it? Here. Oops. Uh, five. Yeah, let's do five percent. But when you are close to them, so set this to null and this to five hundred. So when you're close to them, they try to suffocate you. When you're far away from them, they're gonna try to range attack you. Plus they will have a melee attack. Uh, I think I need to check. Yeah, we need to assign the magic attack for them. Uh, so which is gonna, which is gonna be, um, Something like that. Okay. So let's try that. Again, my client crashed. Perfect. Here we go. Whoops, what what was that? How did they manage to fall through the ground? Uh that was weird. And I can't can't do it do it again, I mean. Uh weird. Okay. Okay, that works. But okay, this monster wear, wears some armor. What can we do about that? What can we come up with to fit this theme? Like maybe add some... I think they already have some defense. Yeah, they do have some defense. Mm, I don't know. I think it's gonna be it. Just squirt and suffocate. Should be good enough. Maybe later we, we can come up with something else. But okay, now we have two kinds of monsters left. The bandits and the Doris. Only these two. So for the bandits... 
I think we can just duplicate whatever they have uh, like in Hadmimis for the Tagata uh, clan bandits. We will do basically the same for the Prantera bandits. So that is on sec where they are. Quick step dash deep cut for the thieves and bash and quicken attack for the thugs. Maybe though we can increase the chance of those skills. Um, but let's see. Uh, how can I see them together? Like that. So for the thugs, yeah, for the thugs we have bash and quick and attack five percent. That sounds fine. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna duplicate the scales from the Tagata clan. Uh, bandits to the to these ones. Um, so I need the NPC ID. So I need the Yudor clan thugs. So it's these two. And like that, oh, and this one, and we have one more right here. Okay, that's bash level nine. Yeah, let's do that. The so bash level nine. Maybe for these ones we can decrease the bash level a little bit. But for now I'm not gonna touch that. So bash level nine. For all of these. And for these ones. One, two, three, four, five. So that's quick and attack for 16 seconds. Yeah, let's do that. Well, actually, maybe we can increase the level of this skill to 20 seconds at least. Okay, so that's for the thugs. Now for thieves, let's take this one. Here we have three skills quick step, dash, and deep cut. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna duplicate all of these. So how many thieves do we have? One, two, three. And that's it. Okay, three thieves. Um one, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay, that should be good enough. Yeah, 
Okay, so yeah, basically just duplicated all the skills. Should be fine. And let's go to the Zadoras. Uh, seven. Eight. So we have three kinds of Sadoras and we have also two races. So we have blue ones, we have red ones, and among of each other we have grunts, we have warriors, and we have the kids. Kids are already using magic to auto attack. Mm. So what can we do for these ones? So for the grunts we can add stun for example. That would be a pretty, pretty straightforward solution. Maybe some kind of shield. For the warriors, we need to add some kind of bleeding, I guess. Mm. Let's start with grunts. So, uh, skills. Oh, we can add bash, just normal bash skill. <coughs> Or wait, we have actually some kind of monster version of that, I think. Oh no, that was for... That was an auto attack for... What's its face? Boss Pukui. So we don't really have Bash dedicated to the monsters. Let's just add normal Bash. So, uh, I need to find the IDs. So, right now we're only in interested in these ones. These four. Uh, where can I get some bash? I think here. Yeah, thug. Yeah, this is the bash that the thugs use. Just let's let's do the same. So uh, these four. So we need four scales. Oops. That was a run filled. Okay, so they have bash. What else?
Deep cut would be for the warriors. Melee shield, maybe. Or more breaker, maybe. Yeah, let's do our more breaker. Um, level four. No, level five. Fifty percent. Let's do that. So again, we need to copy this. That this is going to be one percent chance. One percent chance. Do we have a range? Yes, so we need to limit the range for this one. Um, max target range 400. Okay. And turn it going down. Oh no. Do you still have a lot of rain? Is it this because of that? Because of the rain? Or is it just normally happen? Like, is it happens normally your place? So 73, 74, 79, and 80. Yes. So our more breaker. Reflect shield maybe. Do I have reflect shield? We have reflect magic. Hmm. Actually, I don't have a reflect shield. Hmm. Well, we have a character version of the reflect shield. Actually, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. But maybe we can do melee shield for them. Something like this, just level 2, maybe level 3, maybe level 2. Let's do level 2. percent regardless of the range okay Yeah, I think that's gonna be enough. So that that is for these grants. Uh, this is both the red and and blue. Yeah. Okay. Good. So this one are done. Now we need to do the warriors. Warriors. Yeah. 
So for this, for these ones, we need deep cut. That's for sure. Maybe even something aggressive like minus nine percent, but a lower chance. Nine percent. I I want to test how that looks like, how that feels like. Oh yeah, that's painful, but manageable. Although 30, 30 seconds of it, it's not, not nice. Mm. Will these monsters remain passive? They are not passive, it's just I have uh, Agro Ignore enabled right now. Because I'm testing a lot of stuff, I don't want the monsters to aggro on me. But yeah, they are aggressive. Plus they shoot, so let's test that. Yeah, yeah. they are aggressive. So, for these guys, I think we can even use a stronger one. So that was 9%, let's try 12%. Level 4 bleeding. 78. Yeah, this is painful. So, yeah, we can do two different levels. This one is going to be a rare one. And another one can be level 3 or maybe even level 2. Because this one will kill you if you don't uh, handle it. Level 3 will not kill you. On itself, on its own. So, this one... Let's do 60% deep cut level 4, but also we will do a lower skill chance. So, uh, I need the monster ADs. And in the warriors, these four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're gonna set. Well, let's start with the lower level one. Uh, let's do. Level 2, 80%. No, level 2, 100, no. Let's do 80% level 2. Eighty percent level 2 bleeding. 3% um, chance of using the skill. And... And we will do sixty percent level four. Mm, 
1%, maybe even less than 1%. Because this is painful, very painful. Let's do 0.5%. Do we have a range limit? Yes, we do. Okay, good. So we have deep cut. What else? Dash. Maybe. Let's start from the beginning. Uh, health rain blinding dash, maybe dash. Let me write that down real quick. So maybe dash. We already have deep cut. No shields. Or more breaker, breaker, weapon breaker, maybe weapon breaker. Mm. Where is it? Oh, is it here? Yeah. Hmm. No, I don't want to do the weapon breaker. Shield, manage rain. Combo attack. Um, no, I don't want the combo attack. So let's do dash in that case, maybe. Actually, no, they are pretty fast already. You can't really run away from them. They basically have the same speed as normal character speed. Yeah, don't need the dash for them. Probably just bleeding would be enough. Just a deep cut. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, actually, I already did that, so I guess this is it. Okay. Now, what do we what are we gonna do about the babies? They they just have normal magic attacks at the moment. They also try to run away. I think I need to add some kind of delay. Add some kind of delay. Uh, where is this skill? Mm, so there is baby attack. One second cooldown. Oh, now we have 500 millisecond animation duration. So let's do two seconds cooldown. Two seconds cooldown. Yeah, I'm not sure if we need to add something else. 
just gonna be magic attacks, normal magic attacks. Well, we also have the scale called Call for Help. With a huge range, we can do that. So, babies. Uh, these ones. What is the cooldown? 10 seconds, okay. Let's set the chance to 3%. Yeah, should be good. Yeah, let's try that. So we close all of this. Actually, wait, what is the cowardness factor for them? Point one. That should be higher. It should be at least point two, maybe even point three. Let's do point three. And maybe in the skills. Yeah, in skills we do the max health factor. Also point three. Yeah, let's do also point three here. That's gonna be interesting. Okay, now they run a little bit better. Oh my god, I'm dead. Definitely need to adjust their stats, make them a little bit less dangerous, but yeah. In terms of skills, I think this is good enough. Okay, 
Yeah, now we have the deep cut, level 2 bleeding, okay. Level 2 bleeding. I think that was level 3 bleeding, but okay. I wanna see if I can trigger a level 4 bleeding. It's still level 2. Still level two. Weird. Oh yeah, for level four there is much lower chance of the skill itself and uh, much lower chance to apply the effect but it's weird that I'm not getting it at all Oh, here we go, level 4. Okay, that, yeah, that is painful, but it's alright. Okay, it does work. That's good.
So yeah, I wanted to isolate one of the babies and test its skills. Oh, this is going to be long. A long fight. Guess yeah, I am currently a melee champion, uh, melee uh, character. Gonna take a while to reduce its health to 30%. Oh, there is another one. Okay, let's focus on this one. Okay, the cowardness is triggered. But I'm not sure if it's used uh, the skill or not. Hmm. Yeah, you don't see that in the chat, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, that's another thing that I need to fix, but that's on the client side. I need uh, the system chat to display the skill usage uh, of your current target or, or of your current enemy, even when the skill is not targeting yourself. Like, I need to see that Sadora's baby used call for help, something like that, or Pakui used heal. Hmm. Well, we will see. We will try to find that and make it work. But yeah, for now, I think we actually finished with the monster skills. At least the basic skills for the monsters. So Zadora, Sadan, Thief Bug, Sadan. Well, maybe for Culvert's thief box, we can find something more interesting. Um, because, yeah, right now all the thief box, they just use clocking and that's it, and they are fast. So maybe for Culvert versions, we can think about something. Maybe we can let them heal themselves, at least a little bit. Health train, blinding. You know what? Yeah, let's let's make them heal themselves. Actually, no. Let's make them heal someone else. So basically, they're gonna be something similar to Puku Puku. You'll target by 50% of missing health. Not like that. It's, it's gonna be less. Maybe 20%. Because that way, if you don't clear the culvert thief box around the golden thief box, we're gonna just heal it. That's gonna be interesting. Well, 
So yeah, let's do that. Let's do 20% of missing health for the covert thief bugs. Both of them? Or maybe we can let males to heal themselves and females to heal somebody else. Let's do that. Let's make females heal somebody else. NPC skills. We can duplicate this two times. Uh, 20%. One percent probability target health factor point eight target range nine hundred. Yeah, let's do that. And for the male versions, we're gonna do the same as we have on unripe because. Fifty percent missing. No, let's do thirty percent missing health. Yeah, like that. Let me write that down. So, covert ones. Uh, females heal a lie. And the males heal self. Okay. All right, what else do we have? We have all the mice. Greyfield mouse, town mouse, sewer rat. Those have skills now. Stony spider. They can root you, they can, th they can throw stone, they can use melee or ranged shield. Scarabeus can blind and venomous attack. Baronite Hydra. Yeah, they're clan thief and thugs. That's good. Wolves. Cats. Spores. Porings. Bonbon. Bon, fish. Takata clan. Bandits. Rod of Rock. Cave buffer, yeah, everything above was already implemented. So yeah, I think we are actually done with with the skills. Hmm. I wanted to take a look at the Hydra. Maybe we can find something interesting. Um, Hydra hand, this one, I think. So Hydra can root you, but the root actually looks a little bit weird. Uh, warp 6. Also, Hydra's aggressive, so let's try to cross the river. Without no aggro. Ok, 
Okay, good so far. None of the Hydras took the aggro. Yeah, technically if you're careful you should be able to cross this river. Yeah. But if I get closer. Yeah, now it's attacking me. But yeah, the main problem that I had is um, Hydra hands. This one. Yeah, so right now I'm rooted, but the, the effect is a little bit weird. I would like to have the tentacles actually being stuck to me, maybe. Technically those are 2D tentacles. Hmm, I don't know. I don't think it can make it work, but we can try. Which ones are these? Ah, okay, I see. That's one that one is disabled actually. Where are the tentacles? Just glow this mesh emitter. Ah, uh, rocks, okay. Cloud. Now oh, this is also a mesh emitter. Oh. So these are the tentacles, right? Wait, what? Oh, I think they are just flying out. Um, movement. So this is the model. Oh, they actually now disappear in. For where is the disappearing color? Fade out. Fade out. Start. See. Actually, those are 3D tentacles. 
So maybe we can create an effect that just holds you down. Mm, but I don't really like how they will look. Also, I don't think they're long enough if you're somewhere at the surface of the water and the water is deep. Then it will basically... It will not touch the ground. This is what I mean. Hmm. But maybe we can make the model longer. That should be easy to do. It's just I'm not sure about the looks of this model. But okay, we can try, we can try. So this is only one mesh emitter that we need to use. Let's export it. Actually, no, wait. Um, Where was the lifetime? Here. Actually, I'm not sure what this means. Start location. Zero movement. We can probably scale by Z coordinate two times. And it disappeared. Why? What the hell? Ah, yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, maybe we can do that. So for time, we need to probably set it to 14 seconds, no, 15 seconds, uh, but it's gonna expire. No, where, where, where was it? Fading, I think. Yeah, fading gonna start expiring at 12 seconds. So let's do that. So yeah, they change color. That's interesting. But yeah, looks good. Let's try to save this. So we need to create a new effect, new effect. Uh, so this is as Hydra hands. And I think it should be underscore B, right? Let me see, uh, freeze B.
Why doesn't it work? No, it should be E. Oh, first of all, let's go to effect data. We need to get Hydra hand E. We need to replace it with B. Okay. And then, then, mm, Then we're going to copy it to 578. Hopefully that's free. And this is going to be E. And this needs to be assigned to the status effect. Uh, where is the Hydra hands here? Back duration. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, this is the root effect. So let's replace it with this one. So we have it here now. Now we open. We open underscore E. Now we need to replace all of this Let's delete this first uh, With what we we've just exported so This one Also, we need to open that previous one and change the underscore E to underscore B. Like that. Let's see if that helps. Oh yeah, I need to exit the editor now.
No, it's wrong. Oh, sprite emitter. This should be a mesh emitter. Redundant data. Oh, yeah, the name is duplicated. Now we are good. So let's see. Let's take a look how that looks like in the game. First of all, I think I'm gonna try just to use it in the water. Um, status effects, hide your hands. Crap, this is the old effect. Ah, I, I know, I, I forgot to rebuild the data. I think, I hope. Well, great. What's wrong? Probably there is something wrong with this one. Uh, you know what? Let's let's delete this this entry. And then we can um, take this one. and copy it actually wait 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 no 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 52 0, 22. yeah we can copy this one but we need to assign a separate id 35 instead of lockdown we use this one Oops, this is supposed to be 22. And this one is that one. Fifty-two zero thirty-five. Yes. So now if something breaks, that would be the, the script itself. So let's try.
No. So there is something wrong with the script itself. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what. What was the error again? Closes immediately. Didn't have time to copy it. Meteor effect spawn effect. So there is something wrong with this one. Ah, crap. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm stupid. Really easy to fix. The array list of emitters starts with zero, not with one. That's, that's our problem. That's for sure. <coughs> What was the idea? This one. Well, I cannot see it. Probably it's a little bit too long. Yeah. Uh, I saw it for a second, it's there. So I need to bring it up by 200 or something like that. Up by 200. Also, let's delete the loop. Let's disable the loop. Okay, I'll wait. Offset. D minus two hundred, I think, or plus two hundred, plus two hundred, right? Yeah, 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 we are adding the height. <clears throat> Still not there. This is probably because of the scaling, so I need to bring it up by 200 more. But yeah, it's it's almost there, I think. Let's do 400. Actually, I might have forgotten to rebuild the data. Maybe I only exported it. Well, we will see in a moment. But yeah, I think it's it was a little bit closer now to the character. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's try 300. Let's try 300. And the rest, so it, it uh, 
should be 15 seconds. Okay, and now when it's disappear, it, when it disappeared, the, the status effect is gone. So this is perfect. We just need to align it properly uh, on the Z axis. Okay, it's, it's looking good, I think. Wait, what? Oh. Run duration. Here we go. Hmm. It looks a little bit weird. Maybe we can rotate it. Actually... Yeah, it's fixed to the character. But I think the initial rotation is fixed to the camera. Yeah, it's it's weird with these uh, effects. Yeah, I don't think you can make it better. Let's try to provoke the Hydra. So this is this is the real situation. So it's basically holding us down. Maybe we can lower it a little bit so it only touches the hand, the 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 how it's called, the legs. So let's try to bring it down just a little bit. So. 260 maybe? So probably previously I forgot to just rebuild the client date. I did export it but forgot to export before forgot to rebuild. Come on, yes, the root skill. Oops. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it as uh, as it is right now. Yeah, I think this is good. It looks a little bit weird, but I don't think I can make it any better. And it's obvious that it's actually holding you uh, to the ground. So yeah, this is good. Uh, yeah, so I think we are done with the skills, at least for now. We'll definitely continue with the skills a little bit later, but... I think we now can actually release the uh, the new update. 
we will see. I will double double check everything, uh, and maybe we will we will release the new update soon. So yeah, I think this is gonna be it for today. Let's see. Let's find someone to raid. Let's try to raid this person. We've never seen them before, I think. So yeah, that was fun. Today we finally managed to finish all the monster skills. Uh, and we still need to like balance them, adjust the stats, adjust the player character stats. But so far it looks good. And the movement is almost, almost perfect. Sometimes the monsters still get stuck, especially after the attack. Uh, I will try to investigate that a little bit more. But otherwise, it's it's good. It's fine. So yeah, uh, I will probably be streaming tomorrow. Not entirely sure, but anyway, on Thursday I will be definitely streaming more game dev. Uh, so hope to see you there next time. And bye-bye. Thank <music> you.